Hello everyone, my name is Jeffrey McIntosh, and on this channel we talk about everything related to purity and teaware. So today we're going to talk about how in the world do we clean teaware. Well, one thing we should not be doing is using any type of strong detergent or strongly flavored or scented soap when cleaning teaware. Big no-no. Sometimes we will use disc detergent. That's also not to my preference. Um, you want to stay as natural as possible. Now there's different types of teaware, obviously, and you'll see a few things on the table here that I often will use, and we'll get into more detail, but baking soda, fine crystal sea salt, right? Not too fine, but not too coarse, somewhere in between, because we want that abrasion from the salt. And then these little things, which are known to most people as melamine sponges. Some people may even use them like Mr. Clean's Magic Eraser, kind of falls in that same category. So with the types of teaware we have, if we have porcelain, glass, ceramic, glazed ware, a quick rinse and some tea leaves is best. I know that sounds crazy, but just using some leftover tea leaves from your brewing and then cleaning the glass and the teaware is quite effective to get some stains out, believe it or not. Then there's the question, well now with the cups, obviously we need to clean them to a certain degree. So just with the cups that are touching people's mouths, there's a few ways you can go about that. You can use a very mild or non-scented detergent when you clean them with a sponge, rinse them out, um, and then set the, let them set to dry. Now with guy wands and glass pitchers, sometimes there's stains that build up, especially glass pitchers over time. I've had this pitcher now, I can't believe it, um, but more than 10 years. And there's just been this kind of line that develops every so often from the tea, it's kind of like a tea stain. It's very difficult to get out with mild detergent. I have noticed a lot of success using melamine sponges, and I get these ones with little cubes, right, because they're really easy to use and get into small spaces, and I, I love them. And when I run out of them, I, I freak out. I always need to have some melamine sponges underneath the sink. These are so, so effective at taking these stains off and making your teaware look brand new. They're particularly good with porcelain. Sometimes there's stains at the bottom of gaiwans or gaiwan plates that just stay there forever from the tea, even with scrubbing and detergent, they won't go away. Well, next time try a melamine, a melamine sponge and you might be shocked at how effective they are. No, I do have to say something though. If you have some teaware with, uh, I don't know, some type of decals or logo from a company that was imprinted on the teaware, um, with excessive usage, that probably logo and decal will be removed entirely. So do be careful around there. Also, if you have some more orient, ornamental pieces um, and antiques, you do want to be careful if most of those glazes and paints were applied to the outside of the piece because those are probably wear away as well. Um, but they're very, very good for kind of those antique pieces that have more of a stone on the bottom that just can't get clean no matter how hard you try. You try one of these sponges, they'll clean them right up. Also, if you're looking at like Mr. Clean or those other brands, make sure you're not getting like the heavy or intense uh, scrub. Just get the mild one, the normal one. We don't need any more um, intensity in our sponges. Just try to keep them as natural and basic as possible. So Melamine sponge or most of the tea warrior will do the trick and will get rid of those hard stains that you feel like you can just never get out of your cup or guy want. They come in all kinds of sizes. Small cubes, you can also get large pieces that you cut up and then use from there. Up to you. Have some fun. Now it does get a little bit more tricky when we go from things like ceramics and porcelain and glass to something like maybe teapots. Because teapots, if they're not glazed, now if they're not glazed, we want to be very careful. Now if they are glazed or ceramic, we probably could use that same system, right? Hot water, maybe some mild detergent, melamine sponges will do just great. But when we get to teapots, especially raw clay teapots, maybe we're lucky enough to have a yixing teapot, um, how in the world are we going to clean them? Well, it's most preferred, of course, to use hot water and rinse before and after you're using these teapots and then let them dry, right? You're trying not to actually expose them to too much cleaning. Very, very strongly 
Um, not recommended to use any type of soap on raw clay whatsoever because of the fear it might absorb into the clay and affect the flavor of the teas going forward. So how are we going to clean them? Well, every once in a while we do need clean teapots for a number of reasons. One, maybe it's a very, very old teapot. Maybe you purchased a used teapot from somewhere else. And then lastly, we've all kind of had this happen if we've been drinking tea for a long time. Maybe we left some tea in there for far too many days and forgot about it and maybe mold built up in the teapot. These are all reasons we would want to do a deep clean of a teapot. And if we're not going to be using soap, how in the world are we going to do this? Well, um, we're going to do this with sea salt, right? And I use fine crystals because I need a little bit of abrasion to use when I'm cleaning. And then baking soda. And so what you do is you take some sea salt and some baking soda and you put them into the teapot and just add a tiny bit of warm water to create almost a slurry, and you use your finger to aggressively clean inside the teapot all around. The salt acts as an abrasive kind of measure to it, and the baking soda more so a cleaning aspect, and you're gonna rub and rub and rub and clean all the inside of the teapot until it resembles a similar patina on when you first got the teapot or when the teapot was new, and that is a very, very effective way to clean teapots. Then of course afterwards warm water, rinse it all out, and then use boiling hot water and just pour it all the way up, completely overflow it to add an additional kind of cleaning method to it. So sea salt, baking soda, scrub, 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 then add boiling water. This technique can also be used if you wanted to re-season. A teapot. It's often that you'll use a particular teapot with one type of tea and then you'll season it with that type of tea and maybe it will add positive flavor characteristics to that tea over a period of time but maybe you've decided you don't want to make that tea in this teapot anymore. You want to try a different tea and you want to re-season it. Well same concept. Sea salt, baking soda, scrub very aggressively to remove that past patina and then kind of create a new blank slate to then start seasoning a new type of tea. So those are predominantly what I use to clean teaware. I just use baking soda, sea salt. Now if you have particularly delicate teaware of any kind, that is a ceramic or porcelain, you may want to start with baking soda and salt before you go to mild detergent or melamine sponges. Um, so just test it out a little bit. This is the most natural way you can clean teaware and I can strongly recommend you at least try it out. I hope that video was helpful. That is how I take care of and clean all of my teaware. Um, I would love to hear how you take care of and clean your teaware in the comments below. So be sure to drop them down there. And I'll look forward to seeing you all in my next video. Take care.